I'm Karen T. Cantil, and today I'll be sharing insights on why organizations behave badly. Cyber attacks and cybersecurity. Organizations behaving badly. Scene 1 Unseen Threats in Cyberspace. Unseen threats in cyberspace, in the ever-evolving realm of cyberspace, a silent battle rages on, a battle involving zero-day exploits, vulnerabilities, and a complex dance between security and secrecy. Ted Schlein wisely said, there are two types of companies. Those breached and aware, and those breached yet unaware. Welcome to the world of zero-day exploits, where cyber threats lurk in the shadows. Exploiting vulnerabilities before the world even knows they exist. So breach and aware companies are organizations that have experienced unauthorized access to their systems or data and are actively addressing the breach. And breached yet unaware companies are businesses that have been compromised by security breaches but have not yet detected the intrusion. The images depicting unseen threats in cyberspace, viewers observe a visual of a hacker in a hooded cloak lurking in the shadows of a digital cityscape, symbolizing the unseen dangers inherent in cyberspace. Another image illustrates a vulnerable computer system being infiltrated by malicious code, accentuating the susceptibility of widely used software. Additionally, an image of a lock with multiple digital cracks serves as a metaphor for the security weaknesses present in various software systems. Finally, a graphic portrays a digital fortress being breached by shadowy figures, emphasizing the perpetual threat of cyber attacks. Scene 2, The Marketplace of Secrets For a price, information about a single vulnerability can change hands, as seen with the reported $500,000 sale of a zero-day exploit in Apple's iOS. Zero-day vulnerabilities, once discovered, become commodities in a clandestine marketplace. These digital secrets are traded among hackers, cyber terrorists, governments, and even large organizations. In the depictions of the Marketplace of Secrets, viewers are presented with various examples. One example is a graphic showing government agencies hoarding information about vulnerabilities while citizens remain unaware, thereby highlighting the ethical implications of secrecy. Another example is an illustration portraying a government contractor handing over a suitcase of cash in exchange for zero-day exploits, vividly depicting the high financial stakes involved in the trade. Additionally, a visual of a shadowy figure with a government agency emblem buying zero-day exploits from a hacker suggests the collusion between state actors and cyber criminals. Lastly, an animation showcases a scale with secrecy on one side and public safety on the other, effectively illustrating the dilemma faced by agencies in deciding whether to disclose vulnerabilities. Government agencies, including the FBI, Department of Defense, and NSA, invest significantly in acquiring knowledge about vulnerabilities. Scene 3. The Cost of Silence However, a veil of secrecy shrouds their decisions on disclosure. Zero-day exploits have reportedly been sold to government contractors for millions, creating a conundrum of ethical considerations. Government officials frequently convene behind closed doors to deliberate the acquisition of zero-day exploits, a practice that accentuates the clandestine nature of their operations. This secrecy is further emphasized by news headlines detailing the sale of zero-day vulnerabilities to government agencies, shedding light on the substantial financial stakes at play. Additionally, infographics vividly depict the flow of funds from government budgets to cybersecurity contractors, illustrating the considerable investment dedicated to vulnerability research. Meanwhile, a visual metaphor employing a scale, with secrecy representing one side and public safety on the other. 
serves as a poignant symbol of the ethical quandary confronting government agencies as they weigh the decision of whether to disclose vulnerabilities. Scene 4, The Vulnerability Equities Process The vulnerability equities process is meant to guide agencies in deciding whether to disclose or keep a zero-day vulnerability secret. But critics argue that its lack of transparency raises questions about its effectiveness. The FBI's use of an exception under VP to withhold the iPhone vulnerability adds complexity to the debate. A government report highlighting the ambiguity surrounding the VEP and the need for greater transparency in decision-making processes. An opinion piece in a cybersecurity journal questioning the fairness and effectiveness of the VEP in balancing national security interests with the public's right to know. A congressional hearing featuring testimony from cybersecurity experts discussing the implications of the FBI's use of the VEP exception in the context of digital privacy rights. A social media campaign advocating for reform of the VEP to ensure greater accountability and oversight in government decision-making regarding cybersecurity vulnerabilities. Conclusion, Balancing Act in Cyberspace in the realm of cyber espionage, agencies face a delicate balancing act. The trade-offs involve national security, intelligence gathering, and the potential risks posed by keeping vulnerabilities secret. While prioritizing national security is paramount, it's equally vital to consider the broader implications including the protection of individual privacy and the integrity of democratic institutions. As technology evolves, so too must our approach to cybersecurity, finding innovative solutions that ensure transparency, accountability, and resilience in the face of emerging threats. Ultimately, achieving this balance is not just a matter of policy but a shared responsibility that requires collaboration between governments, industry, and the global community. In this digital age, where information flows freely across borders, the task of securing cyberspace demands constant adaptation and foresight. The interconnectedness of our world amplifies both the opportunities and risks associated with cyber activities. Striking a delicate balance between security imperatives and the principles of open society is paramount. It necessitates a comprehensive strategy that fosters collaboration, encourages responsible behavior, and respects individual rights. As we continue to navigate the complexities of cyberspace, let us remain vigilant in our pursuit of a safer, more resilient digital environment for all. What trade-offs should be considered? Are these agencies truly acting in the best interests of citizens? The shadows of secrecy cast doubt, urging us to question the fine line between security and transparency. Mm -hmm.